What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I last uploaded on here, but today we've got a very, very, very exciting video. Today's video is gonna be the first one that I upload on my channel with my brand new camera, the Sony A7C. Hopefully you should notice a massive quality increase and what I would encourage you to do is, before you carry on with the rest of this video, go into the quality settings and turn this up to the highest resolution possible which is actually gonna be 4K because the quality on this camera is absolutely insane. I'm gonna be filling you in on why I've gone out and bought this camera, what else has been happening in my life over the last two weeks, and overall, it's just gonna be like a vlog style video, so make sure you do hit the like button down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content because now I've got this set up, I've got the Mac, there's gonna be a huge amount of videos coming over the remainder of this year and honestly, I'm absolutely buzzing for it. We are kicking off this vlog a little bit later today Right now, it is about roughly 10 past one. And the reason for that is, is because this morning I was busy doing outdoor classes at the gym that I work at, and also went and got myself a little haircut. I still haven't eaten today. I've kind of been fasting up until this point. So whilst I go and make sort of like a lunch slash late breakfast, I'm gonna explain why I've bought this camera and just some of the specs behind it and the lens that I've got. Let's go and make some breakfast and you're gonna watch me geek out about this camera for a couple of minutes because I am honestly obsessed. Usual breakfast, this is not very important today, but we've gone for bagels and we're gonna have four eggs as well. And check out the autofocus on that camera. It is absolutely wild. Check how quick it is. Bagels, me. Bagels. Me, honestly, absolutely mental. That point then leads me nicely into the lens that I've bought for this camera. So I've gone for the Sony 20 millimeter 1.8 lens and it came in this nice orange box. This lens is a wide angle lens and it works with any sort of full frame Sony mirrorless camera. And as I just said, the autofocus is unreal. The image is incredibly sharp in the middle and the f-stop goes all the way to 1.8 which basically means if you notice in the background, the background is really, really blurry. Blurry? Yeah. The background is really blurry, but it keeps me in great focus and it just gives you that sort of cinematic, really high quality look, which is what I wanted for my videos. This lens goes perfectly with the camera body that I've gone for, which is the Sony a7C. And this camera also has an external mic input. So I'm also using the Rode Video Micro and not only should you be able to notice an increase in quality of the visuals, but you should also hopefully be able to notice an increase in the audio as well. And for anyone who might have stumbled on this video who is looking to pick one of these cameras up, or maybe you've already got one, I am using the standard picture profile with the sharpening turned all the way down to the very bottom. I'm using minus two contrast and plus two saturation. And I've found the image that comes out of the camera with those settings is absolutely brilliant. There's no need to change it. I might investigate some sort of custom picture profiles later down the line, but right now, with no color grade and just straight out of the camera, this footage is definitely good enough for me and it's good enough for YouTube, in my opinion. Okay, finally I'm managing to have some lunch. It's generally about two o'clock. As I said, this day's been incredibly busy so far with those classes and then now I've been filming for about an hour messing about with this camera, so it's gonna take a little bit longer than it usually would. However, bagels and eggs, if you watch my channel, you know I have this all the time. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Afterwards, we're gonna speak a little bit more about the camera. We're also gonna be doing a workout as well and just kind of carrying on with this vlog. Also, before I go, ketchup on eggs. Is that a good combination or no? I would say it's good. I've been having this for absolutely ages, but I'm definitely sure there's a few of you that disagree with me. Right, I've not actually had a chance to test out this camera outside yet, so we're gonna go on a little walk to the co-op to get a monster for the workout that we're gonna be doing very, very shortly. But I'm interested to see what the footage looks like outside and just how stable the camera is when I'm holding it in hand. I do know that Sony offers a feature called Catalyst Browse, which basically makes your shots as stable as they can possibly be. And that's what I'm gonna try out here on this walk because what I noticed with the G7X was when I'd be holding on to it, there would be a lot of sort of like motion blur and not so much motion blur, there'd be a lot of moving around and it'd be reasonably shaky footage. So we're gonna try out the Catalyst Browse sort of gimbal like footage whilst I'm walking to the shop and hopefully it'll look pretty smooth. 
The one thing I'll say about using the mic is that it's got a huge dead cat cover on it. I'll maybe put a picture in, but it's very, very, very noticeable. So I can imagine walking down this street here that people are going to be looking at this setup thinking, what on earth is this guy doing? But we'll roll with it and we'll see how it goes. All right, people, we are sorted on the monster front, as you can see. I also must have had a package delivered whilst I was away, but this is actually something to do with the camera, so I'll open that up in a couple of minutes. But what I will say is, right, is this dead cat on top of this camera, you will have seen the photo that I attached on one of the last couple of clips. It is the biggest eyesore walking down a busy main street in Glasgow you have ever seen. Generally, I think one or two people on the way down were pretty promptly asking me what I was doing carrying around that camera, probably thinking I was some geezer making a film documentary or something, but all I'm doing is vlogging. But what I'll probably do is, for the future, when I'm going outside, if it's not windy and the weather isn't terrible like it is today, I'll probably take the dead cat off because it generally just attracts eyes and I think when you're carrying around a camera, that happens anyways. When you've got a big fluffy dead cat looking thing on top, then yeah, it definitely definitely brings you attention, which is which is interesting to say the least. So this is what I got from Amazon. It's a camera tripod, but the reason why I needed to switch was because what I was using for my old camera was this Joby Gorilla Pod and don't get me wrong, it was really good for the G7X, but the weight difference in the setups is quite a considerable amount. So when I was using this or trying to use it with my new camera, the legs would just pretty much fold like that and you wouldn't be able to keep it upright. The Manfrotto Pixie, which looks a bit more chunky if I just get it out of the box. Yeah, so if you compare these two, so you've got the Gorilla Pod and then you've got the Manfrotto Pixie, but this is just a lot more stable. It's gonna be able to hold this setup a bit better as well. And as you can see, the sort of legs move off to the side. And I'm pretty sure if you can actually, yeah, so you can extend them even further than this. And this just means that if I want to film shots in the kitchen where I'm a little bit closer to my food, or if I just want to put the tripod down somewhere whilst I'm using it, then I can as well. But this looks pretty, pretty spot on and it looks nice to hold as well. So this is gonna be a good investment for the new setup. Right, I am finally about to get going with this workout because it is kicking on in the day. I've had that monster, I'm feeling a bit more energized and I really need to get going with this. Today is gonna to be chest and shoulders. This is gonna be my second push day of the week. What you'll also be able to notice is, is I'm no longer going to be doing my stretching on this rug, which is probably about 15 years old. And I've actually been gifted a nice yoga mat from my sister. Thank you very much, Jade, because I know you'll be watching this and I know you'll appreciate the shout out. However, I'm going to include about 45 seconds of highlights from this push day. Push day? Push day. Then I'm going to speak a little bit more about the camera and we'll just kind of crack on with the rest of the vlog. But it is half past four, so the day is kicking on gonna start this workout now and then I'll check back in once I've finished it. Right, I know it's been an absolute age since I last did a commentary on here, but I want to try and test out the mic a little bit. So we've got two weeks to go, two more weeks until the gyms are reopened. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Doing this session for about the 1000th time this year, all jokes aside, I would need some variety back in my routine, I need some access to some cables, some machines and I am absolutely buzzing for two weeks on Monday because we're going to get the gyms back, thankfully. However, today, really focusing on slowing movements down. What I'm noticing is because I'm doing a little bit more running now, I'm starting to get a little bit leaner, but my calories are actually higher as well, and this is something I'll speak about in some of my videos coming up later next week. You should be able to notice from my shoulders there that I definitely am a little bit leaner than I would have been in some of my previous videos and I'm a little bit fitter as well, which is also a bonus. Rest of the session here, we did close grip press ups. I've got these plates down because it helps me keep my hands in the right position. Otherwise, for some reason, due to a slight shoulder injury, I can't seem to keep my hands fixed, so that's why I use the plates. On this one here, the last time I did it, the band looked a little bit longer, you'll probably notice, because it actually snapped when I was doing it and it was about 
two inches away from missing my face. So I'll be glad not to do that again. Last one, tricep dips. Only really started including these recently just for a bit of variety. Actually a pretty good burn and they really work the triceps. All right, as you would have just saw, I've made myself a little coffee and it's actually the day after the last clip that you would have seen, which would have been me doing a chest and shoulder workout in my living room for about the 500th time this year. But literally, I just ran out of time yesterday and I wanted to finish off the rest of the video today just by speaking about my overall first impressions of the camera, how it's been after a full day of filming. So first impressions of the camera, I absolutely love it. But what I will say is when it arrived on Monday, I definitely felt a little bit overwhelmed because the menu system inside the camera is 50 pages long. It's got an interchangeable lens and I definitely felt a little bit out of my depth as well because the setup is generally about three times heavier than my last one. So my hand was shaking a little bit. I couldn't get the right picture out of the camera and I was getting confused in the menu system. But after filming for a full day yesterday and getting my head around all the different settings, well, most of them anyway, I feel so much better and I'm so impressed by the picture quality. Obviously, when it comes to purchasing a setup like this, it does not come cheap and I did spend a small fortune on the body, the lens and the mic, but the way I'm looking at it is it's an investment into my YouTube channel. I really enjoy making videos, I really enjoy filming and this has been something that has just been a complete godsend throughout this whole lockdown period and I'm so glad that I started it. And I know people don't like it when you sing your own praises, but nine months ago, I was sat in my living room stuttering away on my iPhone. And here we are now, 4K video, proper setup, proper video editing. And I'm proud of myself, I honestly am. And I'm excited to keep going with the YouTube channel, keep making videos and to make a proper go of it over the next couple of years. And we're gonna see where it takes us. But if you have enjoyed this video and you're rating the new quality, make sure you do hit the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content. I aim to get at least one or two videos out every single week. And these are fitness videos, vlogs, and loads of different styles of content. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and I will catch you in the next video.